And the latest CBS News Battleground tracker polls show how Americans are responding to the first presidential debate. CBS News Elections and Surveys Director Anthony Salvanto joins me now. Hi there, Anthony. Uh, hey, good Lee. to see you. So uh, according to the viewers that you have been in touch with, what do they think in terms of who won this first debate? Uh, well, let me show you this first big number that jumped out at all of us, Elaine. We asked about the tone of the debate, and look at this, 83% felt the tone was mm. negative, okay? So that's what really came across. And then, to answer your question, who won, we followed that up. It looks very much like the vote, 48, 41, Joe Biden, mm. you know? And, and really what's happening here is that we knew that people were coming in having already made up their minds. We knew when we talked to these people in advance of the debate that they were watching to see how well their candidate did, almost in a rooting sense. So maybe not a surprise that then it breaks the belt about the way the national vote does. Um, but it's really that affect that, that struck me. I mean, look at this. How did the debate make you feel? And 69% mm. said annoyed. Um, way more than said entertained. <laughs> and look at down here, this number for informed, if ostensibly the debates are supposed to teach us about the candidates, well, only 17% said that it did that. Yeah, you, you know, I think it was John Dickerson who said uh, <laughs> during the network coverage that that seemed high to him, 17%. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm going to have so to run some cross tabs and see who that is. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look at those numbers close, more closely. All right, so did the debate make watchers more likely to consider one candidate over the other, Anthony? Well, let's take a look at how this moved things, or should I say, how it didn't move views of the candidates. Okay, candidate mm -hmm. qualities for Donald Trump. Look at this, pre-debate, that he cares about people like you, 46, and afterwards, 46, right? Didn't move much. Really no movement on whether people thought he was honest and trustworthy. Really no movement on whether people thought he had the stamina for the job. Um, all things we asked about, waiting for movement. Sometimes in debates, even if it doesn't move vote, people change their opinions of the characteristics of the candidate. Not so much here. And I'll do the same thing for you with Joe Biden. Does he care about people like you? Well, 52% said yes coming in. 55, not much movement. And same deal on honest and trustworthy and stamina for the job. So all in all, very locked in, people not feeling like they got a lot out of it and not a lot of movement on views of the candidates. So two more. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. <laughs> and, and, you know, very quickly, Anthony, before we let you go, some viewers yeah. might be wondering, how were you able to get these numbers so quickly following the debate? What's the process? Uh, it's a great question. So we interview people in our polling and we ask them if they're planning to watch the debate. If they are, then we tell them, okay, we would like to give you a survey right after the debate. And we do that with a nationally representative sample of watchers so that it looks like all the people nationwide who are planning to watch the debate. And then we instantly contact them right after it's done. And they can do it electronically. They get sent an email. They get reminded to take it. And then we process that very quickly and then try and put it out as an instant reaction by 11 o'clock. It takes a big team of people, our, our partners at YouGov, um, all of whom work really hard on this to, uh, to put it together. All right, well, annoyed. That's my takeaway from your podcast <laughs> tonight. <laughs> Anthony Salvanto, it is never annoying to have you, though. Thank you so much, Thank Anthony. You, really appreciate it. And a reminder, our debate coverage will continue on Wednesday, starting at 9 a.m. right here on CBSN. And if you missed the first presidential debate or an episode of Red and Blue, you can catch up and stream any of our earlier clips on the CBS News website. Just head to cbsnews.com slash redandblue.